My name is Honesty and I lead Youth Alive at Arizona Virtual Academy. So my journey with Youth Alive is very different from other people. So I go to an online school and I didn't think there was any way possible that I could do any kind of club or do any sort of outreach. And I remember I was sitting there, I think it was during fine arts, and I was just sitting there and they were talking about what Youth Alive was and just calling out campus missionaries. And I was sitting there, I was like, I can't do anything. Like, this is like, that's cool. And I'm like, I'll support other people that do it, but I just can't do anything. And then y'all had come to my church and started talking again about Youth Alive and calling people out. And I was like, you know what? Like, this is something that I actually want to do and I'm going to pursue it. I felt like I couldn't do anything because we're completely online. There is no such thing as in-person meetups. And our club, our school is just very different and clubs have only been allowed to be led by teachers and a lot of our clubs are not at all faith-based. I've never seen a faith-based club before at our school. I didn't think that there would be a way to meet, and I didn't know if there would be anyone even interested. I didn't have a teacher sponsor. I didn't know any kind of teacher that was going to even be willing to join and partner with me on this club because I had talked to other teachers, and they kind of were like, no, I'm okay. Like, I have other things going on. And so I got really discouraged. I was like, oh gosh, like we're never just going to find even a teacher to even help me with this club. Christian had actually texted me and said, hey, I found someone. Like she had reached out to me and one of our teachers that lives up in Sedona had been reaching out and had been asking for someone to step up and lead youth life at our school. She was a middle school teacher. I mean, I was in high school, so I had not even met her before. We had this conversation and as soon as I got her information, I reached out and we were able to start the club almost right away. So our first club, we had about five people show up and I was like, oh, this is great. Like, this is awesome. Like, we actually have people. And from that point, we've grown. Our numbers have kind of went up and down just because of, you know, COVID happening and everyone being really stressed. But we've been running about 15 people to each club, which has been amazing. And typically they're mixed. So middle school and high school both mixed together. And so one of the stories that like sticks out the most to me is one of our students kind of reached out and was like, hey, I'm not even allowed to go to church. I've been asking to go to church for years and I haven't even been allowed. My parents don't really know I'm in this club, but this is the only way that I've been able to hear God's word. And so, I mean, it's continued to grow. And what's crazy to me is I'm graduating this year and my sister is going to be taking over. She just had her first club yesterday with the middle school students and she was able to lead that. I wasn't even there, so I didn't even get to see it. And she had 10 students show up. And so, you know, it's crazy to see like God continuing to use this, even though I won't be part of it anymore. God's going to continue to just use this and to impact the rest of the school year. If God's calling you to lead a club or join Youth Alive, don't let anything stop you because regardless of what walls can be there, God will knock them down and he'll make a way. Don't let someone else do what God has called you to do. My name is Honesty and I'm a pioneer.